I'm Joe Kasia from Leading Edge Installations and I'm here on behalf of Hitachi Australia and today I'll be demonstrating the ideal way to install the Hitachi Ultra Short Throw projectors with the starboards. Some of the tools that are required for this job are the electric drill, Phillips screwdriver, a spirit level, a tape measure, stud finder, a box cutter and a 10mm socket and ratchet. Today we'll be installing on a steel stud wall and for that we require four quarter inch toggle straps and four six mil metal screws. If you're installing the projector wall mount on a brick wall or a block wall, uh, you'll need to use eight millimeter diner bolts. If you're installing on a timber stud wall, you'll need three six mil timber screws. This is the ultra short throw wall arm straight out of the box. The first thing you need to do is remove two transport screws and discard them. First one's here, the second one's right there. And uh, then what we'll do is we need to get the um, wall bracket out of the wall arm. So to do that, you remove the four side screws. To release the uh, plate, you need to take a final step of tightening this uh, with a uh, 10mm uh, spanner or ratchet or the Allen key provided until the wall plate gets released. The reason why we tighten this is, as you can see, as you're tightening it, it, rem it moves the plate um, in the right position to release it. We're now at the next stage where we mount the uh, wall bracket to the wall. And uh, in this case, we're mounting on a plaster wall. So we will prioritize the positioning of the projector uh, wall arm so that the stud will line up with the bracket. But if this was a wall made of a solid material like brick, we would prioritize the positioning of the board to the ideal place. And then we will offset the projector to the right. The next step is to determine the height of the board. Uh, to, we normally use 2100 to the top of the whiteboard. So what you need to do is mark your 2100, measure the top of the image to the top of the board, which is 13 centimetres, and come down 13 centimetres from that point. Using your template, uh, you have a look at what size board you're mounting. We're putting in a 77 inch. So the 77 inch line is here. Fold your template on that line and sit that line with the top of the image. Making sure that you're lining up the stud with the center of that uh, template. So we, what we want to do is get a, a level line across for the top of the image and a vertical line down to mark where the stud is so that we can line the template up in exactly the right position. Now you mark the holes in the plaster so that you can fix the wall plate to the stud. While you've got the template up there, mark the centre of the whiteboard on the wall because you'll be doing another, another straight vertical line marking the centre of the whiteboard. Once you've screwed your bottom screw into the stud, you drill four corner holes, 13 mils in diameter for your toggle straps. And that basically just secures the corners of the wall mount to the wall. You can also use wall mates for this.
Prior to tightening the uh, screws into your toggle straps, ensure that uh, you've put a, a spirit level on the top to make sure that the bracket is, is level. Okay, now that the uh, toggle straps are fitted, we're just uh, securing the bracket with the screws and uh, marking the level um, so that we get a nice straight, even mounting of our projector wall arm. Okay, to find the, uh, the points that will mount the uh, interactive whiteboard mounting hooks, we need to use the line that we marked for the top of the image, come down 11.5 centimetres and draw a straight horizontal line across the wall. Using the mounting guide supplied with the interactive whiteboard, you fold it in half, snip one of the corners so that when you open it up, this will mark our center point of the whiteboard. Peel one of the corners, put the little V notch, sit it on top of the line that we've marked with the V pointing right on the center of the interactive whiteboard. Stick one side down. You can use a nail uh, to, to put in the uh, hole over there if you want to secure it tighter. Do the same on the other side, holding it nice and firm and keeping it level. Mark the holes. Yeah. And remove that. We're drilling the same size holes as we did for the corners of the wall mount. And what we're putting in here is uh, some toggle straps to secure the hooks to the wall. So you insert your toggle straps or your wall mates, whatever you prefer to use. Okay, so we've secured the interactive whiteboard mounting hooks and uh, now we're going to install the wall arm. In order to get the cables from the projector through to behind the board, uh, you need to uh, cut an access hole in the space provided in the bracket and that is where the cables will run in from the projector through to your wall plate. Okay, so the first step in installing the wall arm is to loosen all the tightening screws. They're located in various points of the arm. You can find them in the manual. We do that so that all the adjustments on the, on the projector wall arm uh, will work uh, freely. To uh, hook the wall arm onto the bracket, thread the cables through the wall arm. Hook it on the bracket from the top first and lock it into place at the bottom. Okay, once you've uh, locked, it, locked the wall arm in place onto the bracket, you will mount three shoulder screws, which are marked L in the manual. That is the two on the left side and the top right side. The bottom right one is screwed on last and that is to tighten it into position. Try and lock this in roughly at your midway point on the sliders to allow you to lift or lower at later on. Lastly, So we're lowering it now to get it into the middle position on the sliders so that it will allow us to lift and lower at a later stage. So once you've done that, lock it in with that bottom right hand screw and that will secure it in place. When securing the projector bracket to the projector, use the four hex screws that are supplied and 
orientate the bracket so that the larger part of the bracket faces the back of the projector towards the lens. Slide the projector onto the mounting bracket and secure using the remaining four Phillips screws and washers. When you're securing these screws you'll find that there are two, two facing the front of the projector and two at the rear. As a rough guide, grab the template and position the uh, distance from the screen to the edge of the projector according to what size board you're mounting. So this is a 77, 77. which is uh, 206 mil from the, from the surface of the screen. So you'd use 77, there's the board, and that'll allow you to get your distance. I'm just putting together now the uh, cable cover um, there are no screws or any fixings required here, it just snaps together. Yeah. Like so. The cable cover just snaps into place. At this point, Conceal the cables as much as you can. Okay, we're at the um, next step is to mount the interactive whiteboard. And so what we're doing is we're just going to hang it up like a picture frame and we're going to put the, we're going to mount the first hole, the top hole, onto the mounting hooks that we've just put in. Before you start uh, aligning the projector, you've got, you've got to ensure that um, the needo pads that are supplied with the, um, with the hooks for the uh, interactive whiteboard are secured to the vertical steel bars on either side of the whiteboard. What that does is it allows a bit of space for the bottom so that it angles the board in a much straighter, straighter angle. Okay, so we've installed the projector and the interactive whiteboard, and now we're up to the stage of aligning the image. What we do is we go into the menu, go into the setting that says mirror, and get the orientation up to the right uh, setting. The next step we do to align it uh, is go to the advanced menu, Go to screen, select template, and from there, what I like to use is the dot line four. That template brings up a bunch of squares which make aligning it a lot simpler. Okay, now to align the image, we use a number of dials around the uh, projector. If you refer to page 16 of the projector mount manual, you'll find uh, all the different um, fine tuning adjustments using these dials. There are six steps, so um, just follow those. They're all numbered and each, each uh, dial will do, will do a different movement. So the first movement on page 16 is the uh, fine adjustment of the horizontal position and that is on dial number one, which is located on the side. What we do here is we try, we try and get that top line as straight as we can. The next step is the fine adjustment of the horizontal keystone, which is uh, dial number two, which is the one uh, towards the wall end on the right hand side. Uh, the third dial is the uh, vertical keystone, which is uh, this one here. 
The fourth adjustment is the fine adjustment of the lateral position, which is just uh, basically it slides the um, projector left or right. The fifth adjustment is the um, image size, and that's uh, the number five dial is this one here in the front. And by turning that, we can enlarge the image. Turn that until we fill the screen to the borders. And uh, the final adjustment, which is number six, is the uh, focus on the projector. So if you can see the grid lines are all in focus, then you've, you're doing well. Otherwise, you can use your remote control to bring the focus uh, in or out. Once you've aligned the image as closely to perfect as you can optically, you need to tighten all the uh, tightening screws to lock them into position before we do the very last step, which is a digital enhancement of the image. So you tighten all the, all the locking screws that we uh, loosened before. Now we, uh, now we um, use the plastic covers to cover up all the uh, dials and we remove the adjustment knobs and they insert in that cover. So you do that for all of them. We do that for a couple of reasons. One is that so the users don't tamper with the alignment and uh, so that they are uh, covered up as well and locked in. So we've got the image up from the computer now. We've locked all the screws, put all the plastic covers on the projector wall arm. And what we're going to do now is just tidy up the corners using the um, Hitachi, Hitachi's Perfect Fit, um, which allows us to tidy up not only all corners of the image, but it'll also allow us to tidy up the sides as well. You do that by going into the menu, go to the Easy menu, and you'll see Perfect Fit, the fifth one down, and you get a menu like this come up. From here we can click on the corner, bring it in right on where it needs to be. As I mentioned before, you need to get the optical alignment as close to perfect as possible and then use the perfect fit feature just to tidy up the uh, alignment. Another thing worth mentioning with the perfect fit is that it'll, the image will only reduce, not expand. Okay, we've just aligned the image from corner to corner. We've got a perfect alignment here. Uh, we're just going to go through the final step of calibration. There's two ways to access the calibration, uh, which is this way by hitting Menu, Settings, Starboard and Calibrate. And uh, if that gets a little difficult because it needs calibrating, then use your computer to, to access that. Otherwise, you can use the shortcut key, which is the number one on the side of the panel. Um, what you need to do here is follow the instructions of all the red flashing uh, crosshairs and go in the middle, hold it down until they flash green and follow those numbers right around the board. Until you get to the final one, which is nine in the center. It'll tell us that the calibration is completed. Click OK. So as you can see, the board is tracking the input accurately. I'm Joe Kasia from Leading Edge Installations, uh, together with Hitachi Australia. Uh, we hope that this uh, demonstration video for the installation of the ultra short throw projector and starboard uh, is of benefit to you.